how about this as a place to come to to escape the stresses and strains of modern life? I'm staying at Strathy Point Lighthouse on the north coast of Scotland. Strathy Point is a rocky peninsula that sticks out from the north coast of Scotland, roughly halfway between Cape Roth and Dunnet Head, the farthest point north on the mainland of Great Britain. The seas around here are treacherous and it's surprising that it took until the 1950s before a decision was made to build a lighthouse here on Strathy Point. The lighthouse here was completed in 1958 and was actually the very last manned lighthouse in Scotland. It was also the very first electric lighthouse. The lighthouse was automated in 1997 and in 2012, sadly, it was deactivated completely and the light went off forever. But that means that now I can stay in the principal lighthouse keeper's cottage. This was very comfortable accommodation for all the family and as the principal lighthouse keeper he got a cottage looking east, sheltered from the prevailing westerly gales with incredible views along the coastline and out to Orkney. But don't feel too sorry for the assistant lighthouse keeper because although he and his family must have had some very noisy nights as the gales and the waves crashed in from the west, on calmer nights they also had the beautiful experience of sunsets over Cape Roth. There's no television in the cottage, but who needs television? This is the greatest show on earth! Just down the road from the lighthouse is the awesome spectacle of Strathy Beach. The beautiful solitude of the north coast. Strathy Beach is enough for you, then come to Melvich, the next village, and bring your surfboard. And a short drive inland from the lighthouse, you'll find the incredible landscape of the Flows National Nature Reserve. It may look bleak, but it's very much alive. Beach. 
on the other side of Better Hill Village is Torresdale Bay. Now, I think this could be the most beautiful view in the whole of the north of Scotland. Watching the dishes, I'm also watching sheep grazing, seabirds dive bombing, and the occasional passing dolphin. Although it's a really sunny day now, there's a really strong wind coming in from the northwest. I would not want to be out on a boat right now. I'm trying to film the waves, but at the same time, trying not to get blown off my feet here on the top of the cliff. It's getting really ferocious out here now. I think I'm going to head back to the lighthouse. What a stay that was. Surrounded by the elements, it's easy to understand why one of Britain's foremost contemporary composers uses this cottage as a retreat. I really hope to come again. Click the subscribe button. See you soon.